Okay, on to another tip, and here's a very simple one to improve your club head speed. Most amateur golfers don't use the biggest muscle in their body, which is their weight transference. They tend to hit shots without moving forwards. So here's a simple little tip which will get that body moving forwards. If you watch amateurs, they tend to hit it from back here somewhere, whereas the pro will hit it from in here. So let's hit the amateur swing first. You see a lot of golfers like that on the golf course, big strapping lads that only hit the ball a couple hundred yards. Now if we look at my reading here, okay, here was my speed at impact, 93.1 miles per hour, but my actual top speed was 94 miles an hour, so through the downswing now I've de-accelerated, which obviously you need to work on, and not only that, my timing was 23.9 inches away from the perfect position at impact, so huge difference. Now let's move the ball forward about eight inches, So this is where I'm going to set myself up. Imagine my ball is here. I'll leave that tee in the ground just so you can see it slightly. Now I've got to encourage myself to get my weight moving forward. If I don't, I'm going to miss the ball completely. So set yourself up well back and then swing. So you can see my weight had to move forwards. Now we've got a totally different reading. So my impact speed there, 121 miles an hour, hugely increased. Interesting here that my peak is exactly the same at 121, so my swing was very consistent there with the speed. Now the timing, much less, down to 13.8 inches from the ball, which when you're talking of a 120 mile an hour swing, is just a matter of milliseconds, so much, much better. Now you can see with that simple exercise, you're gonna increase your distance because your club head speed is gonna be greater and more so your weight's gonna be right behind it. Imagine if I'm here at 14 stone and I'm sat there at seven seven at my setup. The time I get to the top of the golf swing, it's gonna be more like 10 stone here and four stone on the left. But the time I hit that ball on the last one, 12 stone of my body weight is gonna be right behind that club head, increasing my distance. It's gonna be a power punch. Whereas like the gentleman before, the average swinger, the weight was physically going backwards. So remember, set yourself up as normal and then set another ball approximately eight inches in front of it. For the younger, fitter ones, maybe try and go to sort of 10 inches, but move it forward. It'll enable you to push you into getting to your top of your golf swing and moving your weight across, which like I said earlier, is what most amateur golfers don't do. Give it a go, see what happens. Mm -hmm.